Josh Corner looking like I'm, I'm Buffy the Vampire Josh. Slayer there in your long jacket. <laughs> you call it? I'll tell you what, I'm not confident, Dom, because I'm building the fuckers anyway, so you call it. <laughs> 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 Several hours later. What the hell? I repeat, what the hell is going on with Ireland? Yeah, so what we're doing here today, so we're trying to expand the empire, Grey. So we've got a vlog coming up, but what we'd like to do is try and get in behind the scenes a little bit more, you know, with catching up with the co-hosts, you know, driving to these meetings, you know, just all the, the crap things, catching up with Piggy, you know, for example, you know, we could just drag that in, make it a bit more of a home feel, you know, and people are either doing pods or vlogs. So we're going to try and expand the channel by combining both of those. And yeah, we've already recorded this episode. We recorded this last week. That's right, Grace, isn't it? Yep, last, yep, there you go. So this is a little catch up with uh, Josh Corner and Gareth Hankinson, who sponsored Chrissy, still sponsoring the party. He's doing like the van writing. He's helping me out with the boards this year. He's just, he's got a lovely little bit of history about him involving his racing. And that's how the podcast started. You know, we're getting stories and it's not all about just getting big names. It's about getting the characters within that. And I feel like, and me and Grace have discussed this, we've discussed this all as a team with the co-hosts as well. I feel like we can get a bit more in depth with it and bringing good content to you as well. That's questionable, the good bit. It'll be mean, mainly me on the camera, so that's my fault, definitely not Grace's. Um, hopefully it's entertaining for you all, and you know, we're, it's just giving something back to everyone who's watching this, everyone who's supported this, the patrons, the sponsors, absolutely everyone. So anyway, this is me bambling on for far too long, and yeah, let's get just straight into it, and hopefully you all enjoy, and we'll see you soon. And found it. Oh yes, still can't work the zoom quite right. So, yep, here at Excel Signs, gonna catch up with Josh Corner, and we have just walked into sticker heaven. Right, let's find out what the crack is here. Mid. Yo. Oh, it's nice to see you lads being busy as normal. There you go, Josh Corner looking like I'm, I'm Buffy the Vampire Slayer there in your long jacket. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> it's cold, you soft shite. It's still February. There you go. So we all chop trees for a living, either. We're not acclimatised to the cold weather. <laughs> Look, why are we here, son? What is the crack? Well, what, what we're is actually it, what, came what? for until you decided we'd do something else. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, what we came for is to build, uh, to finish building some CV500. So Gareth and his uh, good friend Mal Carter have been dabbling around with them for a few years now, haven't you? Yeah, Too yeah, much for a few years. Yeah. I and then obviously <laughs> myself and uh, Dominic over here riding the bikes at uh, the new 500 class at uh, Oliver's Mount this year, which should be good. So proper looking forward to it. Going to be doing some racing again and going to do hopefully the odd the odd club meeting as well when we can get along to them. So I'm looking forward to it. I tell you I'm what, come to do some final prepping. I'm not sure if you lads actually know, I was uh, I was on the phone to Andy Hayes who's off skiing, that's nothing dodgy in a car park by the way before you start <laughs> laughing, <laughs> but uh, it's a key, um, have you heard about the trophy they're going to go for? No. The CB, the CB500 trophy, right. it's the Chrissy Rouse trophy. Oh really? Right, I'm going to zoom in on Josh's face because look at that, that's gone from <laughs> I'm there for a ride, I'm there to I win it now, win it. Yeah. To be fair, I've been going to Oliver's Mount from a very, very young age, from from when I just started racing, really, just with my dad and stuff like that. And I've, I've done a hell of a number of laps around there in the car, know which way it goes. I've ridden around it a lot on a road bike, so I'm not I'm not uh, too worried from that perspective. But it's um, I'm, I'm really excited actually. I'm, I've something I want to do for a long time. And when you're racing the British Championship, it's difficult. When you're a privateer in the British Championship, it's even worse, isn't it? Because when you're off, when you're off for a weekend, you're off. And you need it because you can't afford it, and you need the recovery, and you need, yeah, financially to do another event like that is a, it's a big thing. So I've never had the opportunity to do it, and I'm going to be on your 500, and I've got myself a little twin to ride as well. Actually, which is on my on my bike. Garrus is the strongest. Yeah, yeah, my my engine's the strongest, definitely. But it's, you know, <laughs> it's the dyno, it's, it's legit. It's all, legal. All, all three bikes are legit. Legal. <laughs> it will not do when it gets there. It does. Like a fucking dream. So, Who's on that one? Me. <laughs> oh, wait. Toss a coin now. Toss a coin now. Why don't we just have a fight? Why don't we have a fight? I'll tell you what, I'm going to quickly have a look at, have a quickly look, look at these bad lads from RST. 
Straight from Moto Direct. Gareth, get in here and hold them up. Oh, sneak preview of the sponsors as well. Look at that. Hasn't even been announced yet. I like it. Tell you what, Josh could have to lose some weight to get into them. We've managed to convince them to put some pennies <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, what do you weigh, Dom? What do you weigh? I'm not telling you nothing. You're about to get the fast bike. Right, how it? Right. Oh, well, hold on. How do, how do we do this? Put like, do we call it? Do we call it when it's in the air? I'm not even going to look at the coin. Go on. So, I'll flick it. When you flick it up. Well, I'm you're the gaffer. You can call, you call it. it. Anyway, I'm not confident, Dom, because I'm building the fuckers anyway, so you call it. <laughs> <laughs> Miles the gaffer, Miles the sensible one. Oh. You could have Mal here. Right, I tell you what, we're gonna just have to. We're just gonna have to, right. Can we have it? Can we have a for the I'm camera? No, no. Can we have no, a flip it? Side of the coin. Can we have a, <laughs> this won't zoom? Hold on. Right, I want you to turn the coin over. Right, right, kids, everyone at home. It's legit. Just throw it on the floor. It's legit. Spin, spin it. Head, head stones on mine. Guy, I'm actually have nervous it. now. Oh wait. Miles is a good bike. He likes a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, hey, Miles call me, bike. call me a red-blooded human, young and late. He's, uh, he's one on it. Miles one on, one on his. And the results are in. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is we'll just. Swap the <laughs> that we'll is swap just. The that is just violating. <laughs> <laughs> Several hours later. Why? Because you've used all the milk. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you give my God. Oh, look, and that's a fucking lovely coffee. Um, that's an oatmeal one, so you don't get the shit. An oatmeal one. I'll fucking oatmeal what, what are you having? I don't you know. Are you just having black coffee? I'll have it black. <laughs> right, we're rolling. I'd send that back, Mickey. <laughs> right, let's get, let's get straight into it. You've turned it a bit. I've turned it a bit, haven't I? Are you happy with that, John? No, not really. You're not happy with that. Go so you want me to go to the box? Jesus, wet the mask. box, just that way. The box. I've always tried to push the box. <laughs> that way, that will do. That'll do. That'll do. That's Are it. you, Josh is happy. What the hell? I repeat, what the hell is going on with Ireland? I'm not talking about, you know, the famine or anything else like that. I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking about the road racing scene. And not just that, short circuits as well. Well, it's a, sh it's... Yeah, what's the what's the word that you'd use for that? Bloody hell. Shocking is probably the word. To fill everyone in on what's been going on, it's a case of, well, we got this news on Saturday morning, Friday morning, we don't know when we got this news, but we got the news that all road racing, short circuits and yeah. the actual ro real road racing scene has been cancelled this year. Yeah. And that, that statement came from the MCY, which is the, the, North, like the Irish version, the, sorry, the Northern Irish version of the ACU. And that statement has been coming down to brokers, hasn't it? So in the shortened version of the whole spear that you can find on Facebook, the internet, it's been all over BBC News, yeah. it's been all over the place. The information is out there. But it comes down to insurance quotes. Am I right in saying, lads, when it went from a hundred and twenty thousand pounds last year for the insurance for the public liability insurance essentially, yeah. and it's gone up, it's tripled, it's gone up to four hundred thousand mm. in a year, which is a lot. <laughs> and I get yeah. that. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I get that, but in the grand scheme of things, it's actually not a lot of money. Not for the amount of money it brings in. Well, I don't know what Irish racing in general is worth, and I would I wouldn't lie. And see, I did, but like you sit here and you think, yeah, three hundred thousand pound is a lot of money. But what you're saying is, for the sake of three hundred thousand pound, not one motorbike will turn a wheel in a competition for a year in Ireland. That's terrifying. People that includes guns. that includes the Northwest Two Hundred, which the yeah. econo the effect on the local economy there must be massive. That's no Mondello series. That's no like all the lads that are the Sunflower. That's no is it Southern Ireland. So Mondellos. So the Southern, the Southern Irish is, ah, it, is a total different thing. Yeah, know that. Now, at the moment, as we're sitting here in this coffee shop drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> coffee. <laughs> no, but you it's... You black coffee. Well, at, at, at the moment, it's a case of, um, as we're sitting here, the, the Southern Irish scene hasn't got any quotes. Right. Never mind right. any policies, you know what I mean? So the actual, the Northern Irish element is getting... Like these quotations mm. from that. Well, I, I suppose they were just lads would just go over the board and <laughs> go fucking race in Southern Ireland, wouldn't they? But, but, the, but I tell you what, let's let's even go backtracking. You know, this is we've got to be careful sat around even here now because 
we all race bikes, we all love bikes, and what don't we want? We don't want to see that disappear. Yeah. You know? Now, don't get this wrong, because it's not on this little rock that we live in England, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean that it's a problem that could actually transfer over, and we've got to be very careful that we may, we may lose this. And history has repeated itself in the fact of going, once you lose something, it's like your ex misses. Once she's gone, she's off. Like. Well, that's not always true. It's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> but thank you. Yeah, it's, it's no, but you know what I mean, though. I think the worry, no, the worrying thing for me is, like we know, let's just use the British Championship for example. How difficult it is to put together. It's people look at BSB and see the level of which it really is at, and you look at the Superbike teams and you see all of that. What people probably don't fully understand is the level of privateerism throughout that paddock. Yes. And, it, and it's all made up of basically lots of families and, and small teams and enthusiasts, basically, like most of racing is. There's, it's a huge effort. A lot of the lads that come and race in those series in BSB are from Ireland, and the effort required to, for them to get over here sure. is a yes. lot. So the point is how devastating it is for then the lads in Northern Ireland not to have anything local. It's not just, you can't just say, oh, well, they'll just come and race in the British Championship. It's only a ferry. But 600 quid every time you sit on that ferry. And then finish it on a Sunday night. And then you've got to get five, five, six so in the morning, going it, to graph It's two morning. days off work. So the financial impact is insane. And, you know, we're talking about Oliver's Mountain. My initial thought was, fucking hell, Oliver's Mountain will be busy. But will it? Because w- will the lads who are doing the road scene in Ireland prep the bike for one, ve- one event and come all the way over here? Or, uh, you know, two events. I mean, a lot of the lads will come in anyway, potentially, but it's it's a lot of financial commitment to, to do still. It, it's had, it has a massive knock-on effect. Like I say, when we, we've started this, this evening, whatever time it is tonight, mm. but we've got to be very careful, very, very, very careful, not just us, I mean, everyone in general, because mm. it is so easy to tear something down. Yeah. So easy to tear something down. This is a fragile sport, and like even going back to the point where like we were talking about beforehand, it's like the transference of people, you know what I mean? So you're not going to get a lot of Irish riders yeah. coming over to England. You're not, you know, the money, the money's tight. But you're not going to get a lot more. There is already a lot. There is, aye. Yeah, but, but it's not that simple to just do. No, no. Do you know what I mean? Because we were talking about like um, like crossing of insurance. A lot of people don't realise it. Like people be probably watching this going, well, why don't you just get in a van, book a ferry, and go racing. It's not that no, simple. No idea, that it's not that know. simple. You need like like another form of insurance. So, like um, what, what do they call it? Start permission. Yeah. So when you go race in another country, so you go race in Macau or anywhere in America, you need start permission, which means even if you need you, insurance. Different championships. So if you ride in the World Championship, you need different. Even if you race in the UK, so if yeah. you did a wild card at the British Grand Prix, you need start permission from yeah, yeah, the ACU yeah. to do it. Yeah. It's, it's not even just out of the country, but even when, so like when, when we would go and do the Sunflower, you need start permission to go up, yeah. to go even just from, from the, the ACU. Yeah. Yeah. To go, and, to go and race over there. So, for like, because they're your governing body, <laughs> so our ACU in this country, we've got to ring them up and say, I need start permission to go over there. Therefore, BC before COVID, um, the price of that. <laughs> <laughs> BC and good times. That's what that meant. Yeah. <laughs> Have you just figured that it's out? Good. BC before COVID. Come on, Josh, keep up the pace, son. Sure you want anyway. But um, BC there, it was like 120 quid, but you could pay for like an annual fee, which was like 420. So it worked out if you did more than four rounds in Northern Ireland, yeah. you got the annual at 400 right. and odd quid. But they scrapped the annual side of it, and then it was like 230 quid. Per event? Per event. Jeez. Macau was like 600 and odd quid. Sure. What, for, for Macau? For, for yeah, yeah. It's just not as straightforward as like you might, th- you might think, is it? And look, the whole issue is what we're being told is it's to do with finance, and it's to do with the fact that the insurance premium has gone up a ridiculous amount. What, and I'm by no means suggestions anything underhand going on here but it does feel a little bit to me sitting here i'm absolutely not a rich person but in the grand scheme of things three hundred thousand pounds for the sake of all those events i would like to think that 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 doesn't sound insane like it it, it's a lot of money but it doesn't i was shocked Hmm. to hear it was only over that amount like i was expecting it to be way more than that and please take that with a pinch of salt like that's not me saying like me it's it's pocket change it's absolutely not 
but in the grand scheme of things, it feels but every n- aspect of Irish racing circuits to to go to everything six three hundred grand. It feels like a lot. So anyway, the but when you think of that price increase, that's obviously that that's the that it, is the upset. Is, but that's where that three hundred grand figures come from to is, get yeah. to the four hundred. Realistically, like what would it do to an entry fee? What what would it you know what would it put on? Would it be viable to run it? Obviously, that's the the message we're getting. It's not viable to do this, but. Yeah, I don't know. Is this is there some other is there another political or legal reason why it's not going ahead? Is it just finance? Is it just finance? But for what I'm personally worried about is it's all the foundation. And it's the like, you know, the club meetings, like short circuits over there. It's like your Tamra Gays, your Cookstown, your mid Antrims, you know, these yeah. events mm. are the foundation. And the best example I heard recently is like, imagine taking Sunday League football. Yeah. Away from the Premiership. Now hold the hold the line here. Who are the people who go watch Premier League, Sunday League footballers? Yeah. You know what I mean. It's it's the foundation. It's the beginning. It's the grassroots that want to achieve and believe to get to that level. Well, even from a safety perspective, you're not cutting your teeth at a grassroots level. And mm. You can't even call it grassroots because it's not. It's serious. That's it. Yeah, but it they're not cutting the teeth. Younger lads coming through doing the road, the Irish roads, who ultimately want to move on to do events like the TT and the Manx and stuff like that, they're not cutting the teeth at that level other than it's, you know, the knock-on effect, if this was to persist, would be massive. Massive. And it's the massive. massive. For, for I was going to say that, um, I think as well, with, with the way things are, when stuff increases that much in cost, you don't ever really see them come back. To never that's any the kind thing, of isn't sort it? Of static level yeah. that, like fuel. Yeah. It's, cu- it's coming down a bit. But it's never going to go back to what it was. But it's never going to be a pound a litre again, is it? No. And that's not just inflation. That's like a lot of things. So that side of things, it's... I think financially, financial hurdles can be overcome. Actually, relatively simply, it's about raising money. There's lots of ways to do that. I'm not saying it's easy, but it can be done. The, 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 biggest, thing, the biggest thing that people are ranting and, ra- like ranting and raving about, especially on the inner circles, is the fact of like, it, it all comes down to trust. You know what I mean? If you were guaranteed... To put, if I would put five hundred quid my own money, if it was guaranteed to go to that place, yeah, guaranteed, hundred like, and that, that's yeah. the problem. We're skeptics. We're all skeptics now. You know what I mean? Yeah. If there was just, if there was like a, a, a fully police way of going right there, you go even a fresh canvas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if it, oh, there I, is, I, it this, is mate, we are we are walking on a minefield with this conversation. But it is, and you, you say that about the finance though, and it, oh. it, it is a channel. It is a, it is a challenge. Like BSB, for example, people pay to walk through that gate mm. and you only get 60,000 people at Cadwell Park every year, probably more. You know, it costs a hell of a lot of money to put the event on, without a doubt. But actually, you can see where revenue comes from. You just have to walk around that paddock. I- I'm right in saying that when, when we go to our moy, people just turn up at the side of the road. Like, if that's I, no, I, no, I no, but you make money by selling programs, right? Selling like, programs, isn't so it? So there's yeah. a challenge there in how do you commercialise it from that perspective because it is an event. And how do you how do you do that? And maybe maybe that is a, an avenue to go down. But again, it, it it's not just the financial aspect for me. Like I say, that can be overcome. There's lots of ways to do that, and it wouldn't be easy. But it can be overcome. For me, it's the worry around this heightened liability and where's that coming from and why and what it means for the future of racing and how they manage that going forward. Because, like I say, financial hurdles can be overcome to a degree. Like. If that continues, if that's next year, that goes to six hundred thousand, and then seven, eight, you know, yeah. like then you then you sort of like, come on, we're, we're realistic. We're not going to do this thing. We all love what we do, but we're not going to we're not going to do stupid, make stupid business decisions to do it all. I'm being very biased towards the road racing. Yeah. This isn't just road no, racing. It's a, it's this is short circuits. We're talking about you know. <laughs> The list of Irish riders, Northern Irish and Southern riders that have come out of that country is just bloody endless. At a, at a world level. At a world level. Johnny world Ray, level. Brian yeah. Reed, you yeah, know, you're Williams. talking Williams, the Dunlop family, you're talking yeah. about yeah. McManus, <laughs> Lords, isn't it? Exactly. Lords. All the Laverty brothers. Patterson, yeah. Unbelievable the, riders. Grand Prix, Grand Prix riders as well. That's the thing, and I'm I'm just it is so easy to sit here, press play, take the piss out of Josh. But it's like, it's <laughs> right. But no, the thing, you know, what's upsetting is none of us can sit here and come up with a conclusion. And a lot of people are that's, doing that. No, no, yeah, that is the thing. The worry, we can't, it? it is the worry because we're sitting here and like every, every, like everyone's doing that on Facebook. Mm. Well, they're to blame, they're to blame, they're to blame. 
Well, is there a rabbit away? I don't know. There is is there a situation? Is there a solution? That that's what's scaring me. If if they get the three four hundred grand or whatever it is, does everything run? Or well, what, what is the crack? I don't I don't know enough about it to be honest. Mm. I haven't seen enough already. I don't think they're trying to tackle it that way. Although that's the, that's a collective amount. I think that it's each event has its own premium, doesn't it? What it's no 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 no. I think no. That's collective. That is collective. Yeah, but like so the, the Northwest in- just need 120 grand. Oh, I thought it was I make I make I make that sound. Is it, is yeah, it well, even I less? I thought the premium was 70, 120, and the need 70. That it had gone up by 70. Right. You see, this so from 130 it, to 200. Like, but I could be wrong. But anyway, but surely there'd, just, be, there'd be a sponsor out there that would underwrite that figure. Yeah, but that's one. Yeah, but you know, yeah, sponsors you, come and go, don't they? You know what is, I mean? It is difficult. I don't know. For me, it doesn't. It's it's really hard to say, but I I just think there's got to be something more to it. It's a very worrying, very worrying situation, and even if it runs this year, it's not over. And what will the knock on effect be? I think we can all find a way of. Well, you can all sit and have a, a justified argument about the about what the impact would the future impact is, and it's big, and um, it's not just. The problem is it highlights the rest of the sport as well. It highlights other areas of the sport, which is a concern. And the, you know, you know what I'm scared of? People clicking on this to watch us on YouTube and like, you know, trying like expecting a laugh and you're thinking this is not actually a laughing matter. But what a, you know, it's 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 it's, We're it's not going to solve it in We're this not, coffee shop no, either. But no, we no, might it's, have it's, in that pub over there. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shocking things yeah, all over that. Might uh, get the juices flowing a little bit. Um, I can't believe we're doing this after COVID as well. That's a total different oh, nice. subject. You know, we've gone, know. we've every event has survived through a global pandemic, and then well, now we're here. Well, this is mental. Well, you say that though, has it just knocked it on a few years? Because mm. really, it's just bought everybody over time. And like you know, good point. You look across, mm. you look across just people's normal lives and what COVID did. Really, what I just put everyone on hold for a little bit, gave them the opportunity to save some money up. In some cases, lots right. of people not because they lost jobs and so on and so forth, but. It's probably always been coming. Aye. This has obviously been coming. We don't know what the answer will be, and it all we can say is it's a very, it's a very delicate and worrying situation. I hope the Northwest, as actually not just the, the Northwest, I hope what, all of the clubs can. That, that's what I'm. Together. That's what I'm like. That is me. Think like it's so easy. Again, the Northwest is going. The Northwest is yeah, going. The North. I, I like. I love the Northwest. It's you know a what I mean? Very one-off event, though. It's it is a very. very that is, now yeah. it brings in revenue. Yeah. It brings in a lot of revenue for Northern Ireland in general. You know, they, they invest a small amount and they get a big return. Yeah. That's great, but without the rest of it... Oh, exactly. What's, yeah. the, what's the point? Well, it's, well, it's you not know, you know, the point, see, but... The, no, no, the, but... Yeah, not, yeah, I know what you mean. It's, it's a bit like... It's, the, it's necessary. It's necessary it. to feed the sport. So, for example, if you can continue to run the North West for five years, but you don't have any Irish road racing, well... Again, no disrespect to the older lads in the sport that they're going to retire, they're going to move on, they're going to slow down. Where's the youth coming from? Well, that's Where's it, the next generation of, of road racers coming from? Because they're going to jump from short circuits, they're going to end up doing the Manx and they'll do the North West and they'll go to the TT and that'll be it. Like, they'll not do any of the Irish road racing scene and it'll just be, just, just from a sport perspective, if you lost it, it would be a problem, but it highlights so many potential issues. Yeah, and and we'll never look. We're never gonna we're never no, gonna solve it. No, we can we can hope for is that something something's possible. But uh, I think I'd, it is frustrating to see all the people on on social like you know the fucking anoraks on social media that say that know everything right. You know, I've even seen comments about the lads getting paid. Like, hang on, like it's bollocks that. So the answer is not to take it out of the riders' pockets, or or the or the people who are putting money in. That's not the answer. Oh, do you know, like maybe they'd have to accept they're going to earn less than what they normally would. Well, I was, but uh, but the answer is not to turn around and yeah. But what I'm saying on there is, fucking event can't go ahead, but they're going to pay Glen Irwin and they're going to pay Pete Hagman to turn up. Yeah, because like it's serious and those lads, it's they, it's, that is their living. Oof, oof. <laughs> well, look, right, it it is, no, no, is. no, no, I, no, no, I totally agree, and I, I'm a big fan of all of them. And yes, they should get paid, but then you've got. People like me, there's only really there's only ten percent scratch that less than ten percent mm-hmm. who get paid to go there. Yeah. I don't get paid. Yeah. I don't get paid a bloody penny. Well, so it's upsetting that you know it's it, it like and that's that's me being on this side of the fence. You know, mm-hmm. of course I would like to get paid to go racing. You know what I mean? Of course mm-hmm. I don't have to want to shit myself about my tire bill. Get yeah. the violin out, Josh. We're going deep here. You know what I mean? But <laughs> you know, yes, I'm a, I'm a privateer. You know, yeah, in the but- top. <laughs> Top ten. There's no uh, race without private years. Of course there isn't. Yeah, there isn't. There isn't. But this, we've had this argument with Steve Wolfmore <sighs> actually, and he and I fucking hated him at the time for it, and he knows I did. 
we had this conversation about salaries within sport and you look at football and we go fuck me like they get a lot of money the sport's worth a lot of money so they can earn a lot of money makes sense yes. and it looks like a lot of lads get paid actually it's only the top one percent of any sport that earn any money Oh, God. Well, I'm not trying to single that out, but we're, yeah. we're talking about a financial situation. The gap just looks bigger with bikes, right? Cool. It, do, it, do, it, it does, but I, talk, I 100% agree with you. <clears throat> Hickman should get paid. Glenn Irwin yeah. should get paid. McGinnis should get paid. But, yeah, Every, but everyone, in my opinion, everyone yeah. on the grid should get paid, but yeah. that's not how sport works. Life's not fair. Boo, hoo, go time. It's competition. It's competition. Of course it's recognition is. For, we're not allowed to talk about competition in, in, in society these days. I don't want to... Fuck me, I sound like Piers Morgan. Just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but it yeah. is competition, and it needs reflection. It? It, it does need reflecting, but you know, arguably, is it easy? You know, is it easy to say, well, no one get paid this year, keep the event going? Yeah, but then what happens next year? There we are. We've you've been talking. We've talked yeah. about that yeah, though, haven't we? Set precedent. Yeah. Uh, you, it's happened. We'll do it now. And but last year you did it for, for you did for it for that, or... and you just once. Honestly, I know, and it's not about greed. It's not about financial prosperity or whatever you want to call it. It's about the. It, it does make, it must make money to, to for the lads to be paid to go, it, it's got to be worth doing. Why would they, why would they not, why would they not get paid? Like, well, I know, I, like if there's not enough money, there's not enough money to say, that could be their strategy. Their strategy could be, right, we're not going to offer prize money or we've got to reduce the prize money to this in the event of one. But that, they haven't came out and said that. Hmm. So I'm not being funny. I don't know what people's get yeah, salary yeah, is, you, but if you took away that, it probably would cover the yeah, seventy but grand. Top, but surely then your top riders would say, right? Well, I'm not coming. I'm not getting that start money, but that'd probably be written in his contract. Well, you don't. Yeah, you, but it would, uh, get, it would get put in somewhere along the lines of his contract <clears throat> for the team that he was riding for. Yeah, me. Start money would yeah. get. It it's, would make it up that way, but like, is that this, I don't know. This, well, no, I don't this know. is that sheet of ice that we were talking about. That minefield, you know. This is this is where we're at at the moment. Yeah. But it's mm. like for me, it's. Sure. I am the worst person to make a comment about this because I, I, I love it. I want to race and I'm just yeah, thinking, yeah. why can't everyone just go, well, let's make this let's work. Let's everyone chip in. Let's, let's, why can't yeah, we all just go racing? Yeah, but it's not It's not the sport. It's, it is a sport, <laughs> but it's a fucking business at the end of the day. The, what annoyed me on Facebook was, I, I don't know who it was, but we seen them comments where they went, don't pay Glenn Irwin and put the event on. Glenn Irwin's probably not earning the deficit, right? But you'll be earning some money. And so, deservedly, as we say, but, deservedly so. Deserve, the deserve point deserve is, they want to watch it and they want them lads to go and risk their lives, but they don't want them to earn any money. And I know not everybody can earn any money, but it's like saying to you, well, you fucking go to work and not get paid. That's what annoyed us. That's what I don't like. Oh, well, it's very easy for somebody to sit in an armchair and go, well, just don't pay him and put the event on. It doesn't work like that. The other thing as well is like, <laughs> you can't just continue to throw money at a problem. No, that's, that's like, the, yes. So, so, and I'm sure that all the, and I, and I absolutely am not trying to tell people how to suck eggs here, but I'm sure all the organised art organizers are doing this and trying to understand how can they make the events more efficient how can they generate course, more money how course, can yeah. they do this the answer isn't to just go how many times have, well, actually i was going to mention the nhs so let's not do that but it's the same it's the fundamental thing mm. would you just would you continue to fund some a leaky bucket so if that if that problem is going to persist the answer isn't to just throw money at it whether they can generate it or not there is something that's got to be fixed mm. so it's a huge it's a huge task and Oh, you literally just need to fucking hope that the people that are involved can can do something about it. In the in the hope, I mean, it was a, a devastating announcement. Yeah, it's not something I ever expected to see the cancellation of it due to finance. But it's, it's a reality. Just, it's it is just, a reality, though. It is. It, 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 to be honest, that was always the thing that. Oh God! It's like on the tip of my tongue. Like, it, it's on the tip of my tongue anyway. It's like, it, is this is this the beginning of the end? And I don't want to say that. I don't once, think. I don't think it is. Once something's gone, though, it's hard, isn't it? Hard to come back. That's from, that's you know. yeah. And and like I say, I'm just, like you know, we're, we're taking the piss out of your shitty coffee making <laughs> beforehand, and it was all you know giggles. Yeah. But like, it's just like. Well, hang on a minute. Actually, we have been in this situation before. Well, the Ulster closed. The, the Ulster stopped because of finance, really. And that was, and that was scary enough. That was part of a three-headed dragon. You know, the international road racing scene was based on the Ulster, the North yeah, West and the TT. Yeah, such a big event. So it, and it has happened. And I mean, I know there's been attempts to resurrect that, but, and maybe it might well have, it might well have happened, but I, I, I don't, personally, I don't see in the long term, all of these events go, going mm. to shit. I think something will be done. What? I don't know. 
There's lots I of can't... things to think about. Sitting here confidently, and I'm not part of the TT team or the Alaman government. You know, I'm I'm not sitting there. But as an island, you just really hope the TT safe. Well, it's not it's bullet. It's not bulletproof. Yeah, it no. is not invincible. No, no. But I'm using the word say. You know what I mean? It's like they have. Yeah. They move with the times. Yeah. Like with Olympic, no, they have, and yeah. you know what I mean. I'm not saying every other every other club hasn't, but it, it's a shock that's come and bit them up the arse, and I, I'm, I'm gutted, absolutely gutted, because the foundation of the building's getting rocked, and the top of that, the top of that pyramid, top of that building, mm. is the TT. Yeah, I, I would. You I know would what I mean? With that, yeah. You know what I mean? That is the top of the building. I, I, I'm biased, and I'm hoping it is unshakable. I've got a no, lot I of think, I think commercially you couldn't argue like commercially no, you, you would prove that the TT is the bigger event without question yeah. and, and you're right it is a it is a fucking worry like it, it is a worry because it has you're right it is shaking the foundations of of something really big that's it and uh, especially when you think like like we're going back like let's go back to Johnny Free Ray which is why I think for 300 grand why has that ended it who like, but it's, that easy, is, it's, no, it's easy to sit here and say it's only 300 <laughs> grand Put it this way, right? I swear, as true as I'm sitting here, when I win the Euros, <laughs> it's it's mental. Because like, obviously, I know you know we're sitting here, we're, we're having a catch up with Josh and we're we're chilling. Well, we're obviously going to this and we're like a full detail on the podcast with everyone sitting down, and you know it's going to be, and hopefully, because like sitting here today, we're still raw on the subject. You know what yeah. I mean? And this is going to be old news in a week. You know what I mean? Be that good or even worse. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But hopefully, I by the time we get traction on this, it'll yeah. be we'll be a lot more enlightened. I mean, it's it's like to yourself. Of, of, you know, you've you've approached sponsors with the view of riding at the Northwest or more, all these road races, and people oh, have committed to yeah, sponsoring people big. and putting a lot of money in, and it's you know your, your yeah. seasons. It's another fucking sponsor over here who's like, I'm not getting me, I'm not getting what I agreed. Get off that sticker off. That's it, start peeling now. He feared the stickers, I will peel off. I'm sure. <laughs> Excel signs all the way there. Yeah. But it's, oh God, we could sit here and go in and, and again, million well, circles. I mean, I know we keep saying about the, it's not just the road racing, but it's, it's people's livelihoods who yeah, make yeah. money off road racing. Yes. And it's just, Gone basically. Yeah, oh, ec- the economic impact of it's massive. The knock-on effect of people's ability to go racing huge. What it'll, what people will do will be interesting to see. Will, will people come to the likes of Oliver's, Oliver's Mount? Will more people come? Should I say? I think they will. Like, I, I hope, hope they do. People want to race, don't they? The problem. People will do anything to race. And yeah. If it means getting on a ferry and, and coming yeah, over, which but what I mean is, it's a lot of, it's a lot of commitment and a lot of. Preparation to just do like one of like two events, the, the two it's main events. Four, isn't it? I think there's four. It's two four of them two. clash with BS, BSB, so you, right, you'll lose like the, the, the kind of you know, mm. David Todds and, and mm. Johnsons and stuff like that. But doesn't mean that the Irish lads who don't do those series yeah. won't come over. But it's, yeah, it is a bit of a it is a bit of a weird. Um, you hit the nail on the head. Racers always want to race, yeah. and we'll always find a way to race. Mm. But the thing. Mm. That was always, you see, I'm, I'm not even going to say it. I was going to say, like, what's going to stop this? And we, we can't, we never say a die, you know what I mean? But what's going to stop this is bell ends and suits. Yeah. With a bit of paper going, stop. How why do I feel like yeah, you the, the, You are bell with a bit of paper. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, but you know what I mean? And just, it's like the message that we're trying to get out, which has not come across well on this at all. It's about trying to keep the head high and it's hard to do that. Mm. In the great words of Batman, you know what I mean? The darkest night is before the, the dawn. There's got to be a way out. There's got, there's got to be a solution. Simple as yeah. that. I know it's not as simple as that, but there is, there, there is a solution. There's, there's got to be a solution. And I don't know enough about the ins and outs of what's going on behind the scenes. Well, none of us do, really. We no. only and know what we've seen. And the rumour, we've always taken And the I piss. think it's more than money. Yeah. I, I, I'm, ha- I'm happy to see that, cause I, I think openly, I think... Do you think it can be resolved, though? Do you think it can be sorted out? For, for them to come out and well, it release a statement the... like that is like... Yeah, that it's been, it massive, could... isn't it? Again, I don't want to put words in people's mouth or assumptions, but that could have been tactical in itself. Because it's gone from being cancelled to the North West releasing the a statement... The GoFundMes and everything saying, like that. Saying, oh, well, we're going to do everything we can. Well, hang on a minute, it was cancelled yesterday. Mm. Everything yeah. was cancelled yesterday, now it's like... Oh. oh, we've got a bit of light at the end of the tunnel here, yeah. But... The next time we're sitting here in front of a camera, I, I am feeling positive 
touch and wood while I say this. I'm, I'm feeling positive that the Northwest will be back on. Yeah. yeah and, let's, and, so. and let's hope, you know, that, that reflects, you know, I'm always the same part of the same council. You know what I mean? And let's, yeah, yeah. it is early days and people... It's hopefully as many as possible can keep going. The Northwest, you would have to, you would have to say, is probably the highest profile. Of course it is. Yeah, and ho- hopefully that will filter down and I really hope, mm-hmm. like, there's, there's a, a realisation. There's got to be a solution. There's, there's a realisation that it's not just one event. It's the big triangle. It's the everything, big pyramid. It's grassroots, isn't it? It's, of course. It's everything. So it's not just the big boys, it's, it's everybody. That's Everybody's it. Starting out here, we're planning to race this year. It's, you know, there is a much bigger picture that it mm. needs sorting out. It's shit at the fan, isn't it, really? That's it's, it. It's, and we, nightmare. you know, and we haven't, we haven't done this tonight to actually, you know, we're just, we're just venting. We're venting like the, everyone else who's a bike fan here. We haven't got the solution. We're not causing blame. It's just, we're, we're just highlighting a problem that we're all facing and we have been no help at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm <not> <laughs> that's what we brought you in, Gareth, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, we've had a good bit crack. Well, yeah, that's what it's about. It's man. obviously it's a what it's about. topic, but... Uh, and it's just keep, you know, my God, like... I haven't been up this upset since Bambi, you know what I mean? And that, that, that shook that, 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 that shook put me. in that <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking we're upset, but seriously, um, class. But Josh, this is a catch-up with you. Well, How would you like to close this, son? Well, I'm going to bring the, the cup mic. Do oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> it stresses out that it'll be breaking or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, it's been good to catch up with everyone. Obviously looking forward to... Um, I, mean, I think that is it. Wow. Uh, out of, out <laughs> of, out of, so we're back in the Rouse uh, kitchen yet again. <laughs> um, hopefully you all enjoyed that. Um, I do apologise um, as, as I did say at the beginning of this um i'm useless with a camera and we did run out of storage on that side of things but you know it did go a fair bit doom and gloom (laughs) towards the end there um but the good thing is we're actually gonna we're recording another pod while we're speaking now so it's going to be getting released soon i'm not going to give it away who it is yet but we'll be able to go into it in a lot more detail and that's a good thing about the podcast with the guests as well who will have like a good opinion on it and we'll be able to build it up because the story, the story, thought, God. <laughs> but you know, the story's always adapting, and the, um, the, the, it's always changing. You know, as far as the MCY, Northern Ireland in general, you know, the South of Ireland with the race, and you know, and we're just really positive on this show as far as we want this to continue. And like I say, we'll be able to get into that a lot heavier, actually, in a pod, and I'm really looking forward to that. But um, yeah. Please hit like and subscribe. I'm a total sellout saying that, but without you lot doing that, you know, we won't be able to grow this and, and, and to be blunt for us to learn more. You know, this is our first proper crack at it and be cool to be nice. Five star reviews. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs>